While most automakers are showing off their consumer EVs, Porsche decided to go into a different direction with the Mission R race car, a nod to the company's motorsports history. With 670 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of less than 2.5 seconds and a top speed of 186 miles per hour, plus a boost mode for qualifying that boosts the horsepower up to 1,000, this is an all-wheel drive car built to tear up the track. What's impressive is that Porsche says it has eliminated derailing with this vehicle, which is when the battery output to the motors is reduced due to heat. It's why high-end EVs lose some of their launch mode power after too many launches in a row. On the outside is a farmer-supplied flax natural fiber. So instead of using carbon fiber or plastic, this is actually a, well, an electric vehicle covered in plants. Underneath the vehicle is an 80 kilowatt hour battery and Porsche says that it'll be able to race for 30 minutes and during that time whenever it has to pull over it has a 900 volt system which means it'll be able to charge at 350 kilowatts which means that it'll go it'll charge from 0 to 80 in about 15 minutes so back on the track and ready to race in 15 minutes overall the design is a class in racing aerodynamics with active aerodynamics and a drag reduction system if you think you've heard the Mission name before from Porsche, you're correct. The Taycan was called the Mission E when it was unveiled. So while you might not be excited about race cars, what you should be excited about is that this electric race car might be the basis for an upcoming electric Cayman. A road car, a sports car, an electric sports car. Right now Porsche has the Taycan and of course it has the Macan coming up, but a real traditional Porsche with an electric powertrain sounds amazing. For more automotive coverage next to electric racing cars, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.